Hey guys, welcome back to Stranded. Uh, I know I haven't posted in a little bit, like uh, <laughs> two weeks, because I was on vacation and working on Crazy Craft. Uh, but now we're back with uh, another episode, and I'll probably be uploading a lot more frequently here uh, in this week and next week. Um, yeah, so, hope you guys are excited for that. A lot of you actually really enjoy the series, so I'll try and keep it alive for you guys. Uh, and to spice things up, I added some new behavior packs. So, right here, I added, um, Spider Rock's Crazy Tools, uh, Tinker's Reawakening Chisel, Nether Plus, and Enderite. So, Hopefully this adds a little bit more content for me to play around with, and uh, makes the series more fun for me. Um, yeah, so last episode we set this thing up. Uh, it still needs a lot of power, so I kind of want to focus on power uh, for now, because power is a really big problem. Uh, and how I want to do this... Um, so I'm probably going to use a really um, basic way to get a lot of power, uh, which is to use these lava generators. So I need a lot of cobblestone, and I only have six. So that means I'm going to have to go mining a little bit. Um, but is there anything that I can use to mine faster? Because I haven't really looked into the more tools boost pickaxe yeah this this seems like it'd be possible uh the rabbit hide would be a little bit annoying um but if we were able to make a boost pickaxe i know that gives you haste um which is really good so that would definitely have out with mining yeah, and the cactus farm still oh it does okay yeah um Looks like it actually works. Uh, I've been trying to get it to work, and apparently this is actually working. So, uh, all right. I just want to go mining a little bit to get some cobblestone. That's all I want uh, because uh, to make the automatic lava generators, we need a lot of cobblestone barrels. And you guys are going to see what I mean here in a little bit. Uh, what I'm going to do is put a ton of conveyors going around in like a circle. And uh, it's going to have a cobblestone generator. I need to make that as well. So uh, let's just grab... I already have a lot of barrels actually, so I don't need that much cobblestone. Um, I haven't played this in so long. <laughs> I'm not used to drinking water. Okay. Uh, let's grab some iron. And we'll need to pick these up. Oh yeah, the item textures are still weird. Uh, I'll have to update the uh, behavior pack if I want that fixed. Uh, but yeah, I updated those so they... Oh, it looks like that doesn't drop anything if you break it. So I should probably take the lava out before I break those. Alright, so let's make some conveyors. Uh, we'll probably need a little bit more than that. And a cobblestone generator. Uh, we'll also probably need some more barrels. Alright, that should be good for now. Uh, and I'm going to make it down here a little bit. Kind of out of the way. Um, so what I'm going to do is... Uh, actually, I should break this one and move it over here. Alright, I'm putting the cobblestone generator right there. So how this works basically is the cobblestone generator generates a lot of cobblestone. And it travels along and powers all of these uh, cobblestone generators. You see they went inside of there. 
And then, uh, yeah, we'll probably need some more barrels, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. So let's grab two more. And I want them to bend around like this. And then continue over here and to make an infinite loop so that they constantly go inside of a circle. And then let's put some lava, lava generators there. And let's just drop one bucket for now. Uh, so this bucket will keep going around in circles and uh, it will pick up the cobblestone from these uh, barrels. It'll pick up the lava once it turns into uh, once it turns into lava, it will pick it up, and then it will automatically go around in a circle and put it inside of the lava generator. And the uh, the lava shouldn't despawn. Oh, that's a little bit of a problem. Uh, let's separate it a little bit then, because it's not going into this generator right here. Actually, maybe if I move this back one, it'll work. Um, alright, let's, let's throw this right here and see if it, uh, gets picked up by the generator. Alright, yeah, it's working. And let's break this. So now, as you can see, these lava generators are constantly being powered. And there's, uh, and there's always a lava bucket going around in a circle. Now I can make this better by adding more lava generators. So let's see the recipe for that. All right, I need redstone and some more buckets. Uh, so let's grab this lava and throw that there. And we need some redstone, which is right here. We have plenty. All right, we have another another lava generator. So let's drop this right here. And let's make one more stone barrel, and then I think it'll be uh, working how I want it to. Right, let's put this right here. Yeah, so it constantly feeds the lava generators with uh, even more, um, with uh, even more lava because of the stone barrels. Let's just drop that there. And the bucket shouldn't despawn. It might because, I don't know, something weird can go on or something. I don't know. But in theory, this should be fully automatic. Um, so yeah, let's just cover this in glass so that we don't accidentally pick up the, the items. And I guess we can leave the top open for now. I might change that. But yeah, there we go. Infinite power. Yeah, so... Um, now we're gonna start seeing some more power in here. And let's break this because it's not very efficient. Um, it served us well when we needed it, but it's not the most efficient way to uh, generate power anymore. This is much better over there. So now we have a constant source of all these ores, uh, which is great. It'll help us to uh, progress in the future. I might go AFK a little bit off of video, off camera, uh, to start getting some more of these items. Uh, and let's upgrade the chests a little bit so that we can store some more, uh, some more uh, items. So we'll need another hopper, and let's just make it like that, and let's make another chest. Alright, and the chest will, I'll place it right here, and this hopper will put stuff from there into here. So we have basically two double chests of ore storage right now. Um. Yeah, for some reason, the bucket is, like, glitching out a little bit. I'm gonna pick that up. Yeah, I don't know if you guys saw that. It was kind of inside of the block. Hopefully that's not a problem. Um, 
Yeah, but it looks like it's okay for now. Yeah, so all of our ores should go into this chest. And we're getting a decent amount of iron. Uh, that's what I mainly need this for, is to make us iron. Uh, the rest of the ores are just to uh, just to help out a little bit. Uh, but yeah, iron is the main thing we need from this. And I broke this void miner just so we can get a little bit of a surplus in power. Yeah, so these things are basically always active, so uh, let's go do the math on how much the lava generators are making. So each one generates about 30 RF per second, uh, but there's going to be a little bit of a timer between uh, when they get activated, so I want to say it's a little bit more like a 25 RF per second. So this generator we made is generating about 75 RF per second, uh, which is really good. But the the bucket keeps on getting stuck in the ground, but it should still work even if that's happening. Uh, if it if it becomes a problem, I can move make like a gap in between the conveyors. I think that's what's causing it. Uh, and we can, we can probably make another void miner. Uh, to speed up the process of just uh, of getting iron, uh, but I think that's good for now. Uh, it's generating plenty of stuff for us because we we don't need anything any like super insane amount of items yet. I think it's good how it is. All right, let's look at all the items we can make. Uh, so I want to do some stuff with tinkers. So let's make a tinker table and a part builder. Alright. And let's just put these uh, like right here. Alright. Uh, let's fill up on water. And let's make a little bit more uh, some more bottles. Alright, let's take a look at these. So, uh, we can make a redstone handle. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, we can make iron tools, but it's not really that good. Uh, do we have any gunpowder? We only have two. Yeah, so we can't make the TNT uh, explosive tools yet. Uh, the main thing I want it for is the blade. It's really fun to play around with. Um, yeah, there's not really much I want to do with Tinkers right now. I just wanted to show you guys that uh, I added it. But yeah, this is going to be fun to play around with once we have to start making weapons and stuff. Because the, the weapon cases are alright, but I like Tinkers a lot more. Alright, what else is there? Uh looks like yeah, so this thing I think it like instantly heals you uh, which would be fun to play around with I don't know exactly what all these pickaxes does I think this mines obsidian faster um, and this one I think has a 3x3 three three mining this is pretty expensive I don't know if prismarine shards are obtainable so we might have to skip on this one. Uh, yeah, this one should be possible though. So if we want to make this one, we can. And there's Enderite, so after we beat the Ender Dragon, I'm still going to be continuing the series to explore this uh, add-on. Yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff. End cake. And soup. So I guess there's two end cakes. I don't know what this one does. It might act the same as mine. Um, yeah, it might. I don't know. Alright, and there's Minor Dreams, uh, which the cactus farm is for. I might expand the cactus farm in between episodes. 
And we still only have five hearts, so next episode I might work on a mob farm because heart containers are really important. Uh, speaking of heart containers, we just got two shards. Yeah, let's see how many heart container shards we have. Uh, do we even have any? Alright, we need one more for another heart, so that's not too bad. And my farm's in here, right? Yeah, let's harvest all my crops. And I'm probably gonna have it... I'm probably only gonna grow carrots. Uh, because soon we'll be able to make golden carrots. Uh, once we get, like, a ton of gold. Which I'm sure will be here in the near future. Alright, let's put all our, all our food away. And I'm gonna fill up the water, and then I'm probably gonna end the episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode uh we're back with stranded um a lot of you've been asking in the comments like where the series went it's just uh it's back so yeah uh, and i'll be seeing you guys in the next episode thanks for watching bye